Each track in the edit window has its own track views. These views allow you to make changes to different parameters over time. For example, you may have already noticed that you want to change the volume of a track throughout your session. These views allow you to program changes so that the parameters automatically change as the session plays out. This type of programming is referred to as automation. You can view multiple automation lanes by clicking this triangle here. You can add and subtract additional lanes using the plus and minus buttons. You can change the parameter each lane is displaying with the controller type selector located here. You can write in automation using the mouse and the edit tools. Because the smart tool combines several of the edit tools together in one, it is the easiest way to edit the automation. If you make a selection, you can move your cursor to the top of the selection and trim the parameter within that selection by left clicking and dragging up and down. You can also add nodes to the automation by command left clicking within the track view for a Mac or control clicking for Windows. You can erase the nodes by holding down Option and left clicking on a Mac. On Windows, this is Alt left click. You can also delete nodes by making a selection and pressing delete. You can access your current pencil tool when using the smart tool by holding down control on a Mac, which is start on Windows, and then left clicking and dragging. Once you have written automation to a certain parameter in the edit window, you can no longer make overall adjustments for that control with its original controller. This is because once you hit playback, the control will jump back to the value of the automation at that particular moment. If you want to make an overall volume change on the track, then you will need to scale the automation. This means that you are going to increase or decrease all of the automation for the track while maintaining your automation changes. To scale automation, move to the right of your project in the edit window Click on the top of the track lane and drag up and down. Also, as you start using automation, it is important to understand the Automation Follows Edit button in the toolbar. When it is on, the automation will move along with the clips. If it is off, when you are editing clips to new locations, the automation will no longer follow the clip.